Alrighty, here we go again. The game show that batters people senseless and all for your amusement. If you like a laugh and you don't really feel you have to understand why, well, welcome home. It's the Keshi's Castle. Wow! Coming up on this show, we've got a new one called Walk the Plank. <laughs> we've got the Ribena cannons out again. <laughs> And this one will take some explaining. <laughs> Plus, there's a little bit of a difference with this show. Wait and see. Here we go. This show's a special. All the competitors are couples. They're going to have to help each other through battering that is Takeshi's castle. We're about to turn I do into... I really wish I hadn't. To a broken jaw do us part. Whichever partner's idea it was to come on the show. Well, they'll be on the washing up for at least ten years. First up, it's in the sack. Quite appropriate for a honeymoon, this one. You've got to find your partner, then find a bed, then get in it. Remembering all the time that it's a family show and they've got to keep it clean. Found. Threw her on that bed, very manly. Slow motion. Carousel music in the background. like a lost scene from Love Story. 50 couples, 45 beds. That means 10 are going out. Five pairs. She's very excited then about going through. I'm sure our contestants that can't find a bed will be relieved at going out. There they all are then. All off. Here's the replay. Look at that. Very manly. Oh, madam. Well, they're through, along with 88 others, to play slipped disc. <laughs> Object of this game is to beat your ring. If you can get up the wall without a broken ring, you go through. Of course, the Emerald Guard will be firing the water cannon at the rings. The rings conveniently placed on their helmets. It's one of these games where you've really got to keep your head down. They're coming up the wall like an army of ants there. The Emerald Guard firing away with great accuracy. My producer picked the replay for this one. He doesn't get out of the house much. There it is. Is that a Japanese superheroine? 80 are through now to the honeycomb maze. Like in the parents and kids version, one partner guides the other through the maze. The object of the game is to get from the top right of the screen to the bottom left without landing in the water like that. It's a hot bath this time, you can see the steam coming off it. Best to move quickly through the maze, avoiding the guards. The beasts of the maze. Well, they're in the maze and now they're having a dirty protest. Lots of oil in the face, but you threw onto dry land. He's coming pink because it matches the doors. And now he's all wet. Oh, 
partner hey, supposed to guide them through. Oh, oh dear. The blind lead in the blind, it looks like. Come on, lad, some speed. Oh, he got through there. Well done, lad. Well done. Got to be happy. Not that happy. Is that left or is that right? Certainly not right. Looks like it's all wrong, in fact. He's clinging on. He must be using a special ninja grip. He's clinging on. He won't let go of that door frame. Beaten, but through. Come on. Avoid the guards. Get up some speed, lad. Oh, throws a dummy there, and a good dummy it was. Oh, oh, very clever. Very clever. Absolutely excellent. And through. What a lad. I think he pulled a muscle. But he's got to be the replay. Never seen that before. What a result. Let's move on to roll the dice. Easy to explain. The competitors have to roll the same number as their partner to go through. It's fairly painful, this. A five. Can their partner match? It's not looking good. And a two. Oh, 77 and 88. <laughs> The guy rolled that dice, gave it a good kick in at the end there. Five again. Bouncing off the walls. And a six. Right for the competition. Not the kind of game you'd play on a Sunday afternoon with a hangover, is it? Oh, close, but not close enough. They go. Number one. <laughs> In with a chance here. No. <laughs> For the replay, I'd just like to point out that it took them four hours to get his head removed from that dice. 52 go through to walk the plank. Being in a couple is often about being in sync with your partner, understanding their every step. Otherwise, you might get a whack in the face. Like that. Right in the chin. These look convinced. Working in perfect harmony. helps to be a similar weight as well and not just in this game well they stank at walk the plank oh synchronicity I bet they even bought the album 
Carl Gustav Jung's theory on synchronicity was that two things can happen at once. Surprising thing is that more than two people took him seriously. Oh, she goes out the game. I don't think he's going to get his dinner cut for him when he gets home. Now look at this. Tweedle D and Tweedle don't. <laughs> Stand a chance. <laughs> He's been overdoing it on the sushi. <laughs> Come on. Oh, they've gone. But let's see these two again. Little and large. Doomed right from the start. I thought he was going to try and eat that plank then. 44 limp through to part two. We've got the couple's version of Quake. We've got grounds for divorce. And a very brutal method of family planning. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Ignore him, let me explain this adaptation of Quake. In the original version, the house shakes and rattles and rolls and you've got to stay on a cushion. This side, you have to stay on your husband's back. Quakey, quakey, quakey. They're doing really well. The building's not moving as much as it normally would. One couple out, though. Two go through. They're still making them wear wigs. Oh, right from the off. She goes. Like a lot of married couples, these two are glued to each other. Yeah, he's happy. He jumps up and his wife goes falling on a bum. Bangs her head. Thanks very much, see you in court. Ah, I think that lady just remembered that she'd left the iron on. Doing very well, though. <laughs> Replay time. Why do you think she married this man? Look at this! Yay! Bang! Ow! 20 lucky, lucky partners through to play karaoke. I promise to love, honor, obey, and never ever sing. An amazing example of clapping out of time there. <laughs> Mafia man moves in. <laughs> and they're barred. <laughs> Very polite, you're coming bowing. <laughs> oh. I don't know if he's singing the right words. How would I? <laughs> Can you sing theme from the deer hunter? <laughs> Roughly translated as you're having a laugh. Give us a break, mate. My ears are killing me. <laughs> bye bye bye. <laughs> don't come back again. I don't think they understand the game. You're supposed to sing, not jump up and down doing the pogo. <laughs> She's in the spirit of it now. That's <laughs> out. The music stopped, love. You can stop singing now. 
Oh, they're being ejected. The bouncer didn't like their boogie. Go on, boogie off. And for the replay, let's do the pogo. Fourteen couples are taking us to the bridge to play bridge ball. Up to the game. Catch the ball. Avoid the cannon. Cross the bridge without being knocked off. Sounds easy. The Emerald Guard extremely accurate with the cannon. You're gone, mate. In this game, the spouses are firing the golden ball to their partners. Here we go. Well done. <laughs> Two minds. Don't know what to do. Making his way crab like across the bridge. <laughs> You're gone. Hey! She fired the ball accurately just as he was about to fall off the bridge. He's got back up though. Good recovery. Having a bit of trouble on his feet and he's lost his shoe as well. You got a little dumpling, my son John. Went to bed with his stockings on, one shoe off and one shoe on. Diggle Diggle Dumpling, now he's gone. I don't know if he's grasped the rules. Unless he's going to take the ball over his head. Oh, forget about the ball. Let's go for a crawl. Ah, crafty way of turning round that. Well caught. Doesn't seem to have the required balance, this lad. But when I say that, they normally go through. Takes one in the knee. Oh, then the head. Bye. One of the bum, no arm done. <laughs> Hanging on for grim life, grim determination. Looks like he's got grim prospects as well, though. He's just not cutting it up there at the moment. Looks like he's scared of heights. Very tentative. Going for the speed. Never an option. Cannon hit him in the foot, completely lost his balance and tumbled out of the competition. This is the only game where if you hit the back of the net, you haven't scored. Recovering though, he's not giving up that easy. Can you get back on this bridge? Completely upside down at the moment. Grim determination. Oh, has he taken it too far? He's back on his feet. He's got to go all the way now. He's got to catch the ball. From the wrong way around, he did very well there. He's pitching far too far forward, though. Ball peppering his behind, peppering the backs of his legs. Ball 
slapping against the cheeks of his bottom there. But he's getting through him slowly but surely, and he's done it. A late turn of pace, and he's through. What a recovery for the replay. No one could withstand this. Oh. He's out. Only three couples through to the final showdown. They've got a storm to Keshi's castle with the help of General Lee. It's a 50 couples. Oh, no, Only three survived. Will they survive this, though? The Emerald Guard have got water cannon. Our contestants have paper rings on the front of their dinky dodgems. They have to storm the castle with a complete ring. Emerald Guard's aiming at the rings with water. Trying to break the circle. Cool gun. Ah, oh, the ring's gone. More like bumping cars than dodgems at the moment. Right, another ring gone. So there's one last remaining ring out there. And they're out. No winners this time on Takeshi's castle. How many divorces? We can only speculate. See you next time.